a friend contacted me after she had uh, made some mice and just them, dressed them as elegant ladies and gentlemen. And she brought six females and six males, all dressed very nicely. And she sold them for one dollar each. And it takes approximately six to eight hours to do one mouse. So she said to me, if she sold them at the fair for a dollar each, and she said to me, if you help, you think it would make 30 or 40? We are now making over 3,000 every year. And we're so happy for any of our friends who come and help us, whether they're members of the cathedral or not. We just appreciate all their help. And, and, and since then, we are still making all, all of the mice. And each year, the numbers change. And uh, this, this year, we are doing... This is our mouse for this year. At the hop. And she has tennis shoes on. No, she's got saddle shoes on. Saddle shoes, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Any, anyhow, uh, that's this year's mouse. And it, it, every year it's increased. And people give us suggestions as to what to do for the next year. And so next year, this is what's happening. Badger basketball. We have very dedicated people, and we're so thankful to have them. And these are the basic pieces of the mice. Oh, okay. You can see them over here if you're lucky enough to see them. <laughs> okay. And if you're interested at all in sewing with us, <laughs> we'd love to have you. <laughs> Anytime. Whatever you can do. And you know, I had a stroke recently. And as a result of that, I'm waiting for her to tell me that I can continue. <laughs> She's now the boss. <laughs> but there's so much that can be done, even if you don't do a great deal of sewing. And we'd love to have your interest. Okay. Any questions? There's lots of questions to be asked, of course, regarding many, the mice. How many are in the mouse factory? How many are in the mouse factory? About 60. We have 47 people working on the mice and five men. So 47 women and five men. And 17 of those people do not belong to the cathedral. Okay. Just in the community and they love working with the mice. And we love to have them. So. Any other, any questions? Yes. Is everything hand work or do yes. you use? Hand work. So there's no hand work. glue or? Well, yeah, we use glue. So, uh, to put on the accessories and stuff. Okay. I'm thinking those little, little pink inserts. No, those are sewn inside. Those are sewn inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yes. Does one person make the mouse and dress them, or does somebody make mice and no. somebody else? I'll, I'll explain oh, the progression. Okay. I can't understand what she's saying. Oh, yeah, she just wants to know how we do it, so I'll tell them about that. So, okay. Okay. Yes. How many different varieties have you done throughout the years? There's 61, Six. 61 different mice. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're all different. <laughs> and and every, year, every year we get at least one order for every mouse that we've ever made. So. Oh, so then you do make money. We make the old mice. They started too. with them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's how we come up to the 3,000. This year we have orders for 1355 of the new mouse, which is the at the ha. 
and then the balance was the old maze. Oh, wow. And each year we've made at least one of the old ones. We've had orders for every one of them. And it continues. How much did you sell your, the first ones when you first started? A dollar. A dollar. <laughs> And when you consider the number of hours of work in one mouse, to me, if I start one mouse oh, yeah, I and I get to the stage where the faces are on, the arms, everything is on but the dressing, it takes me six hours to do one mouse. I've do it, been doing it so long. Okay. Ruth? Okay. So now you know how we got started. And it uh, started out with 12 mice, and now we do 3,000 mice. At our peak in the 80s, we had a year we did 5,000 mice. Oh. But then we had like 70, 75 <coughs> workers. So our problem is our workers are getting older, and either they get to the point either their eyes don't work or their hands don't work, so then we have a problem. <laughs> so, okay. This there is all of the a whole mouse, all the parts. This is the head, the ears, and the inserts get sewn into the ears, the body, the arms, and the feet, and the, the tail is not um, that we just cut. All these other parts we now have die cut. Okay, originally when the mouse factory started, this is the frame they used. They traced every part and then they cut them out by hand. Then in about the 80s, 88, somewhere in there, we kind of came up in the world. We then had all the mice parts uh, silk screened. So then they were, we didn't have to do the tracing anymore. Uh, we had a, a, some par a parishioner at our church. He's, he started a silk screen company. And so he silk screened all of the um, mice for it. And, and they also silk screen the jackets, some of the jackets that we do. Um, and then 19, about 1995, we made another step towards the future. We now have all of the mice parts die cut. Custom fabric and die cuts up for us. For us, we have four dies, and the dies cost like about three hundred dollars a piece. But we have four of them. We have one that is just the body parts. Another one has the heads, the ears, the arms, and the feet on. We have another one that only only cuts the pink, the insert, the hands, and the and the ear inserts. And then we have the last one that cuts the cardboard for the feet inserts, because we have to have that so the mice will stand up. Okay? So, we're coming up in the modern world, but we still have to sew by hand. <laughs> so, our order of production is, now we will, after the St. Nicholas Fair, which is the first Saturday in December, we take off until the middle of January. Then we will come back and we have all of the, um, my the mice parts already they're already cut they're already over there so we make up kits we make up kits of 25 and then that's what each you know piece person works on they work on 25 at a time after the kits are made up the people who sew the bodies come into the cathedral pick up the mice take them home and sew them then they bring them back and then we have another group that stuffs the mice and then they bring them back, and then they go back to the first people, usually. Some people only sew the bodies, that's all they want to do. But then they come back, then they go back to the first people that sew the bodies, and then they put the arms and the feet and the ears on. Then they come back to the cathedral, and another group faces them. Then they come back to the cathedral, and then they're ready for dressing, and then different people take whatever, we set it up, we, we, put the clothes to whatever mouse they're going to do. Say they're going to do the choir mouse or they're going to do at the hop or, you know, any one of the mice. Um, then they take them, they do the different things, and then they come back to the cathedral. And if they need any more accessories or anything, which some, a lot of them we, we just glue on and some we sew on. So 
and then uh, put the ties on. We have a group that come, meets on Monday mornings and they do a lot of putting the kits together and then after they get that done, they, when they come back, they'll do the ties. Some of them uh, come in just to sew the mice um, and do that type of thing, just, to, just kind of a community type thing. And we work from 9 to 12, and then whoever wants to, we all go to lunch together. So that makes it kind of a eh, kind of get-together thing, you know. Okay, basically the felt that we use for the bodies is 50% wool and 50% rayon. It has to have that much wool in it so that when we sew them, it'll keep the stitches. They won't pull out because they get stuffed, and so they do have a little pressure on them. The felt for the cloth, for the clothes, is 35% wool, 65% rayon. Plus we use, uh, you know, cottons and regular fabrics like for, well, like the blouse here is cotton and, and so we use different fabrics like that. Okay, uh, let's see, what else do we want to talk about? Can you provide the material to a custom fabricant to? Yes. To cut it? Yeah, we buy, we buy the, the felt in either 20 yard rolls or 50 yard rolls. And we used, I used to take it over there and have them cut 2,000 mice at a time. Now they have asked us if they, we would just bring the whole bolt and they cut the whole bolt at the time, at, you know, at, at once, because then they don't have to do so much more setting up and stuff like that. So we have mouse parts all over everywhere. We have garbage bags, like you would believe mouse parts, because I just took them a fit, I took them a, a 50 yard roll, so. We have lots of mice for a while. <laughs> so, okay. Um, Who cuts out the clothes? I told you about what. Question. Yes. Who cuts out the clothing? Um, well, the Monday morning group does that a lot. Oh, they do that. Yeah. Okay. that that's one of the things that they do a lot. So, a lot of that is done. And that way, we, we have it all cut out, then we can put it in the kits and the people that do the dressing, that's one less thing that they have to do. The clothes is just like silk screen. Yes, well, the, anything, yeah, the clothes are silk, are silk screened and then the Monday morning group, we, we, do the, we cut them out and stuff like that and get the kits ready for when they go out for dressing. So that works really well. Um, Okay, what else do I want to talk about? Any questions? You get together every Monday morning? Yes, yeah, every Monday morning, except like if it's one of the holidays, something like that, then we, we don't meet that day. So. Okay, yeah. Who, who designs the clothing or the accessories? The, the, well, the we get an idea, and then it's my job to figure out how we're going to make it look like what they want it to look like. <laughs> the hardest part is finding the accessories because, you know, Hobby Lobby is my favorite store. <laughs> but now they're getting, they're, you know, uh, carrying less and less miniatures too, and, oh. and so I go online a lot. I've got three companies online that I go to a lot to find the part, like the baseball and the ski, or well no, the skis are made, uh, we have a gentleman that makes the skis and the eyeglasses, so. What about the sleds? The sleds we buy, yeah, those we buy. What about the little, like the underskirts, like the Heidi and some of them that have those little Really, where do you get those? All little pleated. Hobby Lobby, <laughs> Joanne's, <laughs> wherever. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I go, I'm always, I'm always looking for stuff like that. And if I think, oh, well, that looks, that'll work. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we try and every, and we get suggestions from a, a lot of people. But it, the trick is to find the accessories to make it look. You know, like like we got a request for a doctor, a special order for a doctor, but I can't find any accessories to make it look like a doctor. You know, I mean, you could put that thing on the head, but the doctors don't do that anymore. So you want something that, so Jean and I have been racking our brain trying to come up with something. So, pardon? Can't find anything that small. The problem is to find it in miniature so that it, it will work. 
So that's, that's the biggest problem is finding things small enough to make it. It can be a little oversized, but you know, not too much. So. Those, that's the people who do the facing, and Jean is one of them. That's my daughter, and one of her jobs is to put faces on the mice. So that keeps her out of trouble. <laughs> so she is also takes care of all the orders. She enters all the orders on the computer, keeps track of everything, and takes in all the money. And at the fair, she takes care of all that. And so every check we get, we record so that we have a record of everything? Who makes the boxes and what time? Good question. And These are the boxes. Yeah. We have, they come in four different sizes. These are a right paper box company makes these for us. And they are a donation to us every year. Mr. Erdman, he was a member of the cathedral, and this was his contribution to the mouse factory. And now he's gone, and his daughter Joan has continued it. So we, every year we call him, tell him how many boxes we need, and, and we get them. And, I mean, these are hard-sided boxes, so you know they're not cheap. I have so. a little bit of and I have them on a tree. I've got them all wired on a tree. But oh, every wonderful. Every year it's a white tree, six foot tall. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to get rid of the boxes, because the boxes are so nice. Yeah. So I have a... Box full of boxes. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful boxes. They're nice hard side boxes. So, and like this box will hold like two or three mice, depending on what mice there is. You know, if like it was the the snowball guy or the guy with the sled, um, you'd probably only get two in here. So, but we have four different sizes, and the biggest size holds like twelve to fifteen mice, probably. I used to put them on the tree and take them off and put them back in their boxes every year. Well, that's nice that you got them on permanently. I decided this is silly. Yeah, we have a lot. Of, all hanging on. The a lot of people that all they have is they have and just a small tree, tree and all that's on there is the mice. So, <laughs> just kind of nice. <laughs> Different. Yes. You said that the um, peak of the orders were in the 90s, or in the 80s, 1980s. The what? You said um, the orders peaked and in the, in the 80s mm -hmm. at 5,000. Why, why do you think that they did that? Do you have any I don't idea? know. I think probably the econ economy was good then, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we had a lot of workers, so that really yeah. made it okay. Otherwise, we'd have been really. Yeah. You know, we usually make the deadline uh, the first Saturday in December is when, well, the Wednesday before we set up, and then the Thursday before is the pack. Everybody comes, and we fill all the orders. And we usually have about 750 orders a year, and half of these orders are pickups, and the other half are shippers. So we ship all over the world. We have mice over in Europe. <laughs> Australia. Oh yeah, Australia too. So, <laughs> have them all over. Did you have a question? No, I was just gonna say like if Pete, because I know when I first moved here and heard about the mice, I would buy like four or five at a time to mm -hmm. collect to get that set going. Yeah. So mm -hmm. That might have been one reason why. They That's sure first. part of it. But I think it was last year and the year before, we had people, somebody from Texas. They ordered the whole set. Oh. Was like over eight hundred dollars. Wow, <laughs> well, that was kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, I know every year when I get my, the new mouse, and the old one has a list there. Mm -hmm. of, of I brought a list of all. Is there a complete list? Yes, I brought a list. It's got list. everything on it. Mm -hmm. Because years ago, I did a radio show out of KFIC, and they came to talk, and they bought, brought me a little mouse, and they apologized because it wasn't the mouse. Of that year, it was just a mouse. Oh, yeah. And um, I had to laugh because when you said the 80s, I think that started me. This was like the last part of the 70s. Mm -hmm. I was ordering 10 at a time, so I'm part of that. <laughs> Let's, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, boost up the 80s, and then I wish you point out we needed one or two, so it didn't mm -hmm. make a difference. Sure. But I'd be interested to compare and see the ones I have if it matches. Yeah, the list I, have, I, have, I printed up some of the new list, and so I have them if anybody that right. wants one. Thank you. So, our sure. mice are copyrighted. Yes, we have a patent on our mice, so don't try and do it. <laughs> we'll get you. <ya. laughs> do you have a website? Yes, we have a website, www.cathedralmice.com. You go on there. 
Yeah, which we are, we're ha having it updated now. But if you go on there, it'll bring up the, the mice, and then it'll, across the top, it'll say list of mice. You click on that, and it'll bring up the list, and then you click on whatever mice you want to look at, and it brings up the picture of the mouse. So. And if you have Facebook, there's a Facebook page with all the pictures on it. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like Facebooks. <laughs> so, anyway. Then is it possible to order online? Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> I have to listen to her because she takes care of that and she'll kill me if I do it wrong. You have to contact me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it true you can only order that at that time each year? No. You can order up to <laughs> Okay, you tell it because if I tell it, you're going to kill me. <laughs> the order form says that you can order through March 31st. Oh, okay. But. <laughs> we get well, orders up till July. The cutoff date is the end of June, and then we'll take any more orders. Mm -hmm. Well, by then we're in production, you know, and it's... Well, there's always somebody who calls me and says, I found my order form. <laughs> um, and it's like October. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, what else you can do is, because I've done this, because sometimes I forget to order, as, as you can go and they do have some extras, you know, so that you can buy. Yeah, at the fair. Yeah, at the yeah. fair. And every, it seems like every year we get at least one phone call or one letter saying, my dog or my cat got at my house and <laughs> ate it up. And I'm thinking, they don't look that real. <laughs> but we get that all the time. We had one woman called Jean, too, because it, it was a, a ship order, and she didn't get her mice, and uh, so finally then she called Jean to find to tell her what happened. Apparently, the postman just laid it on the step, and we had a snowstorm. Mm -hmm. Well, the poor box mice in the box went through the snowblower. <laughs> the box was a shambles. The mice were all intact. <laughs> they made it through the snowblower. <laughs> so that's one that of the, is a good box. <laughs> it is a good box, yeah. <laughs> it's got good sides to it. So, okay, I brought some. I brought a, a, some order blanks for the new mouse, which is the Badger basketball player. Which is good. This is the one that we will take orders for in December and we'll work on all year and you pick them up next year. This is the one from this year. I also have, I make another mouse. This, this is my personal project. It's called a survivor mouse. And here is, um, I started out with it as um, for breast cancer, which is this one here. Okay, but I find that I can make the every cancer has its own color, mm -hmm. and so I've decided that uh, I take orders for any kind of cancer. Like this is lung cancer, this is lymphoma, and this one is also lung cancer. I can tell by the by the rib, by the ribbon. Okay, so. We, I charge $20 for this mouse. $10 is for the cathedral and $10 we send for cancer research. I started this in 2009. Uh, we, so far we have sent Sloan Kettering $2,000 and we, this, this year we sent St. Jude's $1,000. So I've made over 300 of these mice so far. But I have the list here if you wanna know what the cancer color is for the cancer, so. So they go over really well. Okay, so you can look at those. How many of you are collectors? Oh, we have quite a few. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. So, okay, I think that. What kind that's... of archives are there for the old mice? Pardon? Are they in a book or the old? Well, when you come into the when you come in from the parking lot. Okay, I think it's the second display yeah, is all of... No, but I meant when somebody orders one, how do you go back to get the old pattern? What what do you have? Oh, yeah, we've got, we've got all the patterns. And are they all, would they be um, 
subscreen then too? The old patterns? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to cut Well, we have, like, a lot of it we have, um, because when we have it silk screened in that, we usually have, I, I work on a basis of 2,000. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I have these, like this mouse here, when I have that fab, when I have that silk screened, I'll have 2,000 made. So we usually have orders probably around 1300 for the new mouse. Okay. And so we have, and then like the 2000 will carry us like two or three years. Right. So we usually. Okay, but when you go back to the But if we go 60s, way back, we uh, just trace yeah. it ourselves. You trace, that's what I was Yeah, to we trace you it ourselves. Those patterns. Yeah, we have all, all the patterns, same, yeah. Right? Agnes has kept a very good file of patterns. Okay, <laughs> that's what I wanted to know. Who makes so, uh, um, for the choir, the choir book? Um, somebody makes the choir somebody book. Somebody makes the choir book, yeah. They All make those little extra things like yeah. artists. Yeah. See that's a lot of that stuff is what the, the Monday morning group does. Mm -hmm. But then we have well, like we have like I said, we have a gentleman that he makes the skis, you know, they're made out of popsicle sticks. Must knit the little outfits. And we have one woman that's all she does is knit the little sweaters. She knits the sweaters for the tennis. For, she's not a member of the group. Yeah, and she's okay. not a member of the cathedral. So she just loves. Years, all that yeah. Out, which yeah. Is yes. I was wondering if you had any um, knowledge of how many volunteers you have or how many volunteer hours go into this each year? Hours, I really don't know. I know I'm there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. I'm a collector, and some of my. A couple of my mice, the, 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 you know, the, like the jacket has faded. Could I bring that in and, and have it redressed? Sure. Oh, sure. I, we find that the, the, anything with the red, yes. the red is what fades really yes. fast. Yes. And it's really, yeah. Yes. So. Can I bring that in like uh, the day I pick up my mice? Uh, I'd rather you do it another time. The day of the post pickup, we're a little busy. Any other, any other time. Well, like if you could come in like on a Monday morning, because I'm always there on Monday morning. Okay, and where are you located? At the cathedral. Right where you pick up. In the parish hall. Okay. Yeah. In the, yeah. The same building that you okay. get the mice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I we sometimes think I live down there, huh? We also get people that right on their order they need the beer can for the tacker van. Yeah, they're missing a part or something, so then they pick that up. So. Or, or the tail fell off. Or the cat ate it. All that good kind of stuff. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Do I have a favorite? Mm -hmm. Not really. I kind of like them all. I think. I kind of think maybe. My favorite is the Wizard of Oz series that we did oh. because I designed it. <laughs> How about Agnes? Does Agnes have a favorite? Do you have a favorite? How oh, could I? <laughs> what, was the, what was the very first one that you made? Choir Mouse. Mm -hmm. That was the very first one. See, some of them I like, but like, I have a whole choir. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful. And they're all kind of wire, little floral wire, and they're wired together so they, they stay like in a group. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. They are the only ones that are white. I'm real picky. Mm -hmm. And they are six feet tall. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're the only ones that are white. And they're the only ones that are white. They all are hung around the top of the tree, the angels. Oh, there and you then go. I have a whole football team. So they're from every decade. <laughs> oh. So Bart stars playing this. Yeah, yeah you got right. twelve and yeah, yeah, and four and all yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of fun that you are willing. I mean, I think yeah. you're willing. And we make we make places. we make the football one for all of the you know we make the Vikings and the Bears and yeah. all of them, but those are special orders. So. <laughs> So those cost eighteen dollars because we have to redo them. We have to do them differently. So. So the angel mice that you have is that white belt? It's they're white gray. mice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we make them in white or gray. Oh really? Yeah. I just thought the We have one customer that she orders two mice every year. She orders a white one for her husband and a gray one for her. He likes the white mice and she likes the gray ones. So. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They write just right on the order what you want, and we try and try and fill it. So. 
We have we get a lot of us, you know, special like we have won this year for what is that game? Lacrosse. Lacrosse. So Jean had to make a lacrosse thing because we couldn't find one, so she oh. made one. <laughs> so <it's> very <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we do a lot of things. Just what takes a little practice. Mouse this year? We're not having a raffle mouse this year. Oh, We're no. having a raffle wreath. We, uh, Terry, who is Father Brian's wife, she went to um, some craft, um, craft or where they have Christmas stuff, and she picked up a wreath. And the wreath comes with its own carrying case. It's just really neat. So we decided that we would make a wreath instead of uh, just a raffle mouse. And there's five mice on that wreath. Uh -huh. There's a skier, a skater, um, one with a sled. Uh, a snow, oh, the snowman. And then I have one that's grandma with her gingerbread cookies. Oh. So I wanted to make it, we call it Winter Wonderland, and I wanted to make it, I didn't want to make it Christmas, I wanted to make it, you know, winter theme so you can leave it up longer or use it much longer. We're charging two dollars a piece for the raffle ticket or three for five <coughs> because there's so many mice on there they decided that we should do that. Like and it's that pretty cookie. cute, huh? So like that grandma with the cookies, that's not a mouse. No, yeah. none, of them are. <coughs> none of them are. None of them. They're all. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that because the skier and that that is in our. But the one that I made is different. It's not like the one in our. I try and make everything so different, so it, it's not something out of our our regular line. So. <laughs> yeah, she was cute. She was fun to make. Anyway, that's how it works. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Calendar. <laughs> no, they're not going to, they, they had talked about it, but I, it just got too late, so they decided not to do it. So hopefully next year, they were, but the one they were thinking about was going to be all sports figures. And so I think we have just about enough to make, <laughs> to make it. So, but then they, it got too late and. They couldn't get together with the guy that does does the, taking the pictures and that, so we decided we'll, we'll wait till next year. What about the stationery that was mentioned last? Time? All the monies we make, I don't know. the monies are used for the restoration of the cathedral. Mm -hmm. It's all for cathedral preservation. So, and that's a big cathedral. Build the base. And well, right now we've got everything done that we wanted to get done, but the last two years now we're just banking the money because we need a new roof. Oh. And it's going to cost like a half a million dollars. Oh. Uh -huh. Because there's asbestos in it. Oh. So it's going to be a while. But we got to do something because we got drips all over the place. Buckets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Chris goes around and puts buckets around. <laughs> So, okay. Is Thank there any you. other questions from anything? Yes. Anybody needs to order? Or wants to see the list? Yeah, we've got the list here, and uh, I also have uh, order blanks for the survivor mouse. If anybody's interested in that, and I have the list of all the colors for whatever cancer or d other disease, because there's others. Uh, ribbons for other diseases as well as cancer. Okay? Yeah. I just wanted to tell everyone that I brought with me today about 30 mice that are duplicates of mine. And I would like to uh, see if anybody is interested in purchasing any of them. Very reasonable. And whatever I make, I'm donating directly to the cathedral. Well, thank you. So I've got about 30. I can, we can put them out on the table. You can take a look. They are duplicates for me. And, well, that would be uh, nice to lay them out that people could see, okay. see all the Okay, and then I'm, I, everything will go back to the sure. cathedral. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. it's, nice it's a wonderful you. project. Yes. When you order a special order mouse, 
what is the time it takes to get the mouse, or the, uh, you know, what is the production time, and when can you get it? Right? For, the, uh, for, for a for our regular mouse. line, I mean, if, yeah, if it's from our regular line, that it's a special lot of that, then you pick it up the uh, the the day of the St. Nicholas Fair. If you need it sooner, we can try and get it done, but we can't promise anything. And the same thing with the survivor mouse. If you want it earlier or something, put the date on there and I'll try and get it finished by then. So, okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>